The next question says, refer to the accompanying table for wax wean, yeah, which we're gonna assume is a company, or, or sorry, a country. And so we have three columns. The first one is government expenditures given by G. The second one is tax revenues given by T. And the third one is real GDP, usually given by Y. And so John, looking at the column, we can see that government expenditures is constant at $160. And then basically the change is gonna happen with regards to GDP and tax revenue. So we can see that GDP as it increases by $100, uh, dollars, we can see that tax revenue is increasing by $20 each, right? So let's figure out what the, uh, and this is a pretty constant ratio, right? This is always increasing by 100, so it's always increasing by 20. So what's the uh, question asking? So question says, what is the marginal tax rate in Waxwania? And what is the average tax rate? So marginal tax rate refers to, it, for every GDP, a dollar increase in GDP, how much is tax revenue increasing? And for this question, it's fairly simple because it's a constant uh, rate, rate of change, right? So from 500 to $600, we can see the real GDP has increased by $100. And simultaneously, tax revenue has increased from 100 to 120, so by $20. So the uh, correct answer here would be 100, uh, 20 divided by 100, which is 20%. And so the marginal tax rate here is 20%. And we can see that ratio maintains the same throughout the rest of the increases. And so the answer here would be 20%. And then the average tax rate is also gonna be really easy because like we said, this rate of change is constant through all the different levels of GDP. And so in that sense, every marginal tax rate is 20%. And so the average tax rate would also obviously be 20%. And so this would be 20% as well. So vote for 20. Let's take a look at the previous year's answer. So the previous year said, change in Y is 100. Change in tax is 20. The marginal tax rate is the change in tax over the change in uh, GDP. So 20, uh, 20 divided by 100 or 20%, or, uh, right? And then the average tax rate is the real GDP divided by the tax paid. So let's say 500 divided by 100, and that would still give you an average tax rate of 20%. And so that would be uh, the correct answer for both.